This video forms part of a larger series of videos which walks you through how to use Zotero to manage your library and your references in Microsoft Word. Links to the rest of the videos in the series are pasted in the description below. This video walks you through how to install the Microsoft Word plugin that's going to allow your Microsoft document to speak to the desktop app. And if you have created an online account um, in Zotero and you've downloaded the desktop app, this is what your desktop app should look like. You can use the desktop app just as it is to manage your documents. But if you want to actually use it to manage your references in your Word document, you need to install the Word plugin that allows your Word document to basically speak to this desktop app. To install this Word plugin, you can find the settings or preferences menu in Zotero. So for me, if I click on the Zotero banner, I'm working on a MacBook. I'm going to find the settings menu. If you are on a PC, it'll likely be a preferences menu um, and it should open up this dialog box. At the top here, you'll click on site and then click on word processes. And here there should be an option to install the Microsoft Word add-in. I've already installed it, so that is why mine says reinstall Microsoft Word add-in. If you are going to install this Word add-in, make sure that you have saved whatever Word documents you have open because Zotero is going to need to close down the Microsoft Word app in order to install the Word plugin. Once you've installed the Word plugin, you can then go to your Word document and you should see an additional option added to your ribbons at the top here and it should be called Zotero um, and there should be additional options in your Word document. In the next video I'm basically going to walk you through the navigation of the Zotero interface as well as these options that have now become available in your Word document.